So the question is, is the bull market here? We're going to analyze some data on Coinglass and we're going to see if the bull market is here. Personally, I think it's the start. We're going to see some dips. We're going to see some dumps and then we're going to see some rallies afterwards. It's going to take some time. Maybe the ETFs will kick it off. But we're going to look, use Coinglass.com. This is a really helpful use, you know, in terms of just looking at the market, see what everyone else is doing and what the market sentiment is. So we can see that volume traded is up 17%. Open interest, which is who's interested in shorting or longing a position in terms of, you know, it going up or down. Liquidations are also up. So people are predicting, and we're going to take a look in a second. People are predicting things to go really bullish and would go long, 100x leverage, and they're getting liquidated. So there is a lot of volatility still in the market. And we can take a look at the liquidations now. So most of the liquidations are on longs. So a lot of people are longing and not doing too, too well in terms of, you know, the market itself. They're going long and then they're getting wrecked. It's dipping, whatever. But all in all, the market is very green. So it is sort of feeling bullish. And a lot of people are coming back to the market and they're thinking, oh, I better buy a Bitcoin. I better buy Ethereum, Solana before it rallies really high after an ETF or whatever. So... In terms of, you know, Binance being the number one traded platform, we can have a look at um, sort of the longs and shorts. What is everyone else doing? So this is a really helpful use uh, use case in terms of using coin glass. Now, what you can see from here, the green is obviously what people are longing, shorting, etc. And it does not correlate correctly with the market. These are traders. These aren't investors that are buying and holding. However, it does give you a good indication. So at the moment, everyone seems pretty bearish. You know, we've got even, under, well, I don't even know what this exchange is, but 64% longs um, or short, sorry. So most people are in the sort of long position, uh, the short position, 50, it's slightly higher. So when this happens, it doesn't really give you a good indication of what the market's doing. But when it's like 60% short on here, it's usually a good indication that it's really bearish. There's some bad news. Everyone's gone short, stuff like that. So all in all, this is, you know, billions of dollars of longs and shorts. And if we look at the market, this usually correlates in terms of, you know, the one hour. It's a very short time frame. I think this is a four hour. We can put it onto a sort of five minute. And then you see more people are more bear bullish apart from this exchange and that exchange. So... There is a lot of sentiment in the market. The main one you have to look at is pretty much Binance because that's, you know, the majority of the volume. So it's 16 million. Everything else is a few hundred dollars and, uh, you know, 100,000. But in terms of things looking, it's, you know, this is a sort of bullish sentiment. 56% are actually long, which is, in the grand scheme of things, is a very, very, how can I put it? Is a it was a big margin, even fifty seven percent. So if I was longing and shorting, the market itself is looking, you know, pretty pretty good uh, in terms of, you know, the market picking up. I can't read charts, so I don't know what's happening with this. But all in all, we are going to see a hundred k Bitcoin at some stage. But the bull run is here. There may be some dips. There may be some, you know, troughs. It might go to 27K. But the resistance at the moment is 31K. Once that 31K breaks, I think the next major resistance is at 36K in terms of Bitcoin. So if you are looking, watch the markets carefully. Find some dips. If you haven't been accumulating, I've been accumulating uh, for the past, you know, over a year and a half. So I'm holding pretty. I mean, you know, I'm 2X on everything I brought. So I'm pretty happy. I'm happy to sit. I'm staking a lot as well. So I'm a diamond hand holder. I've been holding Bitcoin for years. So fingers crossed the market picks up big time uh, in terms of, you know, the EVM chains as well. And we can have some fun again.